In this video, I will be showing you the preparation of sodium hexanitrocobaltate 3, also known as sodium cobalti nitrite. For the synthesis, we require cobalt chloride hexahydrate, sodium nitrite, glacial acetic acid, and ethanol. So I measured out 2.3 grams of cobalt chloride hexahydrate and 5 grams of sodium nitrite. Alternatively, 1.75 grams of cobalt nitrate can also be used. The literature I was following suggested to use cobalt nitrate, but since I didn't had cobalt nitrate, I used cobalt chloride. So I started by dissolving 5 grams of sodium nitrite into 5 ml of distilled water. The Dissolution of sodium nitrite in water is endothermic. So, the solution has to be heated to completely dissolve the sodium nitrite. So, I used a spirit lamp to heat the solution and on heating the sodium nitrite dissolved completely in the water. So, after everything has dissolved, I kept the test tube aside for it to cool to room temperature. Meanwhile, I prepared 50-50 mixture of glacial acetic acid and water. For that, I took 1 ml of glacial acetic acid and mixed 1 ml of distilled water into it. So when the test tube was just slightly warm, I added the cobalt chloride into it. I took out the test tube from the stand and shook it to dissolve everything. When everything has been dissolved, I added the glacial acetic acid water mixture slowly into the test tube with shaking. In this reaction, nitric oxide is formed as a byproduct which reacts with air to form reddish brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide. Then I placed a rubber cork having two tubes, one tube <coughs> to pass air through it and one tube to suck air from it. The tubing is connected to a water aspirator which sucks air. In this way, air is being bubbled from the second tubing into this solution. This is done to drive out the nitric oxide from the solution. I have already made the video on how to make this DIY water aspirator. You can check the I button. After 40 minutes, I cooled the test tube into an ice bath and removed the cork from it. On cooling, you can already see that some yellow crystals have been formed. To this cooled solution, I am adding a total of 10 ml of cold ethanol. Then I again kept the test tube inside the ice bath. After cooling you can see that more crystals are formed. Meanwhile I chilled the remaining ethanol inside the beaker. This ethanol will be used to wash the crystals. I filtered the crystals using vacuum filtration. These are the yellow crystals of sodium hexanitrocobaltate 3. Then I wash these crystals with few ml of cold ethanol. I left these crystals on the funnel to dry in air. But when I checked after 2 hours, I saw that the crystals have started absorbing moisture and started turning into a solution. I immediately took off all the solid that was there in the funnel and dried it in the vacuum desiccator that I should have done earlier. And the final yield came around to be 1.5 grams which corresponds to a percentage yield of 40%. Over here in the beaker I have a solution of potassium chloride. To it I will be adding sodium hexanitrocobaltate solution. On adding, immediately you can see that there is a formation of a yellow precipitate. This precipitate is of 
sodium potassium hexanitrocobaltate 3 thus this reagent can be used to detect the presence of potassium ions in solution you can support me financially through patreon and paypal links are given in description